lions are an iconic species, but many people don't know that there are actually several different types of lions. It's easy to think of all lions as the same, but in reality, they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Each type has its own unique characteristics and behaviors that make them special. Learn about the different types of lions around the world, each with its own fascinating features and stories to tell. Discovering these majestic creatures can be a wonderful way to appreciate nature's diversity. There is only one species of lion, Panthera leo, but within that species, there are several subspecies. The most well-known subspecies of lions is the African lion, which is found in various parts of Africa. Other subspecies include the Asiatic lion, which is native to India, and the barb lion, which is now extinct in the wild. Hello and welcome to the Our Endangered World YouTube channel. Today we're going to be learning about the different types of lions. Lions are some of the most well-known animals in the world, but there are actually many different types of lions around the globe. If you're into animals and want to learn more about them, then this video is for you. We'll be covering everything from where they live to what they eat, so let's get started. African lions are the most common type of lion found in the world today. They can be found across sub-Saharan Africa and in some parts of northern Africa. African lions have a golden yellow coat with a black mane around their head, neck, and chest. The males typically weigh between 150 kilograms and 250 kilograms. They can be up to 2.5 meters long and 1 meter tall at the shoulder. African lions live in prides, with several females, cubs, and a few males who are the main pride leaders. African lions are highly social animals that spend most of their days resting, grooming each other, or patrolling their territory. They are also excellent hunters, using teamwork to stalk and ambush their prey. African lions typically feed on a wide variety of animals such as antelopes, buffalo, zebra, wildebeest, warthogs, and occasionally young elephants. They can also scavenge from other predators if an opportunity arises. African lions face many threats in the wild, including habitat loss, human conflict and illegal hunting. The population of African lions has decreased by an estimated 43% in the last 21 years due to these threats. Conservation efforts are aiming to protect them and restore their populations. Initiatives such as the Lion Guardians program have been successful in reducing human-lion conflicts and helping to protect lions in their natural habitats. The African lion is an iconic species that plays a crucial role in many African ecosystems and holds deep cultural significance for many people living in Africa. It is vital that we work to protect this majestic animal so that future generations can continue to appreciate its beauty and importance in the wild. Asiatic lions are native to India and Iran, where they live in the Gur Forest National Park. These lions have a pale yellow coat with less hair on the mane than African lions. They also tend to be smaller than African lions, weighing between 90 kilograms and 180 kilograms. Asiatic lions are also more solitary than their African counterparts, often living alone or in pairs instead of forming prides. Asiatic lions are listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List and are facing a number of threats to their survival. Habitat loss due to human encroachment is one of the biggest problems faced by Asiatic lions, as well as poaching and loss of prey. In response to these threats, the Indian government has implemented a number of conservation efforts aimed at protecting the species, such as creating national parks and wildlife sanctuaries for their habitat. Additionally, captive breeding programs have been established in order to protect the remaining population from extinction. Finally, education and awareness programs have been implemented to educate the public on the importance of protecting these majestic animals. These efforts have resulted in a population increase over the past few years, although their numbers are still low compared to other species of lion. With continued conservation efforts, it is possible that Asiatic lions will eventually make a full recovery and no longer be endangered. This is why it is important to support conservation efforts in order to protect this species and ensure its survival for future generations. The Barbary lion is an extinct species of lion that was once found in northern Africa, but is now extinct due to overhunting and habitat loss. These lions had a thick, dark golden manes and could reach up to 300 kilograms. The Barbary lion was an apex predator, preying on large animals such as antelopes and gazelles. It is believed that these lions were used in the Roman Colosseum for entertainment before they became extinct. Cape lions were native to South Africa and Namibia but are now extinct due to hunting and habitat loss. They were similar in size to Barbary lions and had a thick, black manes. Cape lions were considered the most powerful and ferocious of all the African lion subspecies. They were larger than other lions and had a more muscular, stocky build. Cape lions were known for their strength and agility even in old age. They could easily tackle prey such as wildebeests, zebras, buffaloes, and antelopes and their hunting prowess were legendary. 
They were also known to be incredibly cunning and brave, often attacking humans if provoked. The last Cape lion is believed to have been shot in 1858 by a farmer who was protecting his livestock from the lion's predations. Though efforts have been made to reintroduce lions into South Africa, these efforts have been unsuccessful due to the loss of suitable habitats and conflicts with humans. There are now only a few dozen lions scattered across Africa, mostly in conservation areas or game reserves. Though the Cape lion has gone extinct, its legacy still remains. It is remembered for its strength, courage, and hunting prowess and is an important part of African culture and folklore. It is a reminder of the dangers of human encroachment on wildlife and serves to remind us of the need for conservation. The Transvaal or Southeast African lion is found in the Kruger National Park of South Africa. These lions have a sandy-colored coats with yellow-brown manes that tend to be lighter than those of other types of lions. They typically weigh between 120 kilograms and 180 kilograms. Unlike other lions, the Transvaal's primary prey is buffalo. They can often be seen hunting in groups of two to three, stalking their target and then ambushing it with a powerful attack. Transvaal lions are also known to scavenge carcasses when necessary. Although they will occasionally hunt smaller animals such as antelope and even crocodiles, they prefer to feed on large animals such as buffalo and zebra. Due to their diverse diet, Transvaal lions are considered one of the hardiest types of lions in the world. The Transvaal lion is also known for its powerful roar which can be heard up to 8 kilometers away. This loud roar helps them mark their territory and ward off potential competitors. These lions are also known for their incredible strength, speed, and agility which allows them to take down large prey easily. They are more likely to hunt in the early morning or late afternoon when temperatures are cooler and prey is easier to find. Transvaal lions live in prides of up to 12 individuals, with 3 minus 4 dominant males. The male and female lions participate in a variety of activities together, such as hunting and caring for cubs. In addition to hunting, Transvaal lions also feed on carrion or scavenge carcasses when prey is scarce. Despite their strength, the Transvaal lion population is endangered due to habitat loss, poaching and hunting. In order to protect these majestic creatures, conservation efforts are needed to help preserve their natural habitats and populations. With the right kind of management, the Transvaal lion population can be protected and preserved for future generations to enjoy. The West African lion is native to West and Central Africa. These lions have a yellowish-brown coat with a light mane, and they typically weigh between 90 kilograms and 160 kilograms. They are most active at night and usually hunt together, while they occasionally hunt alone. The West African lion is a social animal and lives in groups of two to five individuals, but larger groups have been observed as well. The West African lion's diet consists of large mammals such as antelopes, warthogs, and wildebeest. They will also scavenge on carrion and feed on small mammals, reptiles, amphibians, insects, and birds. These lions are very territorial and will actively defend their territory from other lions by roaring and displaying aggressive behavior when necessary. Unfortunately, the West African lion is considered endangered due to habitat destruction and hunting for trophies. Hunting for bushmeat is also a major threat, as the lion is often poached for its meat. Conservation efforts are being made in order to protect this species and their natural habitats. Such efforts include habitat protection, education programs, and anti-poaching initiatives. With proper conservation measures, we can ensure that the West African lion remains a part of Africa's landscape for many years to come. The Indian subcontinent's Asiatic lion is native to the Gur Forest National Park in India and is the only population of Asiatic lions in the world. These lions have tawny yellow coats and tend to weigh between 90 kilograms and 130 kilograms. They are threatened by poaching and loss of habitat, as well as competition from other species such as tigers, leopards, and wolves. As we have seen, there is a wide variety of different types of lions around the world. From African to Asiatic lions, each type has its own unique characteristics and behaviors that make them special. We should all take time to appreciate nature's diversity by learning about these majestic creatures and their fascinating stories. Although some species are now extinct due to overhunting or habitat loss, conservation efforts can help protect the remaining lion populations for future generations. With continued education and awareness of the importance of protecting wildlife habitats, we can ensure that our planet remains diverse and beautiful for years to come. So there you have it, the different types of lions in the world today. We hope you enjoyed learning about these majestic animals. Subscribe to our channel and join us on our next video as we explore more about endangered species and how we can help protect them. Until next time, goodbye from our endangered world.